You're watching Get the Net with Branch Shores. Especially in the fall, you also want to take a, a, realize that you want to work brake lines as well. Where we're working, it's a brake line. It's a pretty good one. Um, you're coming out about 20, 25 foot of water. Comes up, it has a little shelf. It comes up like this, and then it flattens and kind of slowly goes up to the surface. Um, we're working that edge. We're going to stay in about 12 to 14 foot of water. Now behind us is probably 20 foot. Up here in front of us is probably 9, 10 foot. So we're in that. We want to work those valleys, those shelves, because it gives them uh, more cover, warmth, because deeper water is going to be warmer. Uh, shallow water is going to be colder. Uh, a lot of times these bait fish, the little ones that they're feeding on and preying upon, are going to pull out to that still deeper water because it stays warmer. Um, so a lot of this is going to happen. You're going to also have lake turnover. Okay, you're going to have algae bloom dying. You're going to have, you're going to have uh, water going from dark green to uh, clear. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you've got to look for when you start to get this transitional from summer to winter. And that's what we're doing. We're doing this transition. So it's best to work brake line because they'll school up. And when you find these fish schooled up on these brake lines, you should be able to catch the fish. And I think once we find where they're positioned on this brake line, we'll catch fish. Well, I will. We will. <laughs> we'll see if I will. <laughs> I'm not buying that I will. <laughs> we will. We'll find them. Beautiful day out here. It is. It's nice. So I, I come out all warm, dressed up, warmed yeah, up. And, woo! And I'm ready to take off a coat. <laughs> Yeah, it's the day after, so you have to be a little more patient. It's going to take some patience to catch them in this stuff because today is the first day after the front. So first day of warming back up. There we go. Good job. Come here, sweetie. Nice fish, eh? Okay. Come here. This is probably about another two, this is probably a two pounder here. A little smaller than the other one. Oh, cold, cold, cold water. <laughs> he doesn't want to come in. I'm using really light line because these fish are really being finicky and fin uh, finessy. And uh, he's not wanting this. That's a small mouth for you. I don't want to come in too easy. But they'll eat. And uh, I light my line up quite a bit just so that uh, I could have a little less uh, cut in the water. There's a nice, that's about a two pounder. Now we're going to weigh this fish and we're going to go through real time on this fish and see, uh, see how fast it does take the coal. So here we go. Here we got my scale. I'm going to turn my scale on. Put my fish in here. Away. It weighs two pounds. Two pounds, ten ounces. A little bigger than I thought. Now, I'm going to grab number two, which is my thing. I have it ready. The reason why I say use a call bag, because look, he's not flopping around, he's not going anywhere. It goes a lot faster. One of the assets. Get the fish done. Flip. Set. Go here. I roll it to two pounds. Ten ounces. Done and done. That's how fast you and then you're back to fishing. So the idea is so that you can go quicker on your calling your way in your fish. Now, if I had to go find a grease board, for example, and I'll show you something here. Now, what happens with a grease board system? One, you gotta find your grease board pencil, okay? Now, a lot of flaws and stuff. So, if you write down 210, okay? There, I wrote 210, all right? And the other one was two, whoops, 212. Two, one, two. The point is, you have to erase that weight and change it. And, and, and you're having to do all that 
creates time that you don't want to mess with. And if you have a have it mounted in your live well lid, you don't have to go searching for a product that you have to go in, grab a thing, Fish on. change it. Is that mine? Yeah. Hey, that was my rod. Yeah, well, you were busy. Give me my rod. <laughs> You grabbed my rod from me! There you go. Cheater! <laughs> Give him a fish! Oh my goodness, that's a good one. That's a nice fish. Well, I, I was I cheating! A, I, I was trying to do a demonstration! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a demonstration! <laughs> and George got the rod fish on! Hey, you know, Woo! I can always be working. <laughs> uh, that's the idea. Put it in the scale. It all up here, get your weight, come in here. That fish weighs one pound, seven ounces. So it's a pound and a half fish basically. And remember, our next our next draw is number three. Come here, you grab your you grab your scale. Put it in. Seven ounces, done, and set. So, um, pretty simple, quick, fast call, go back to fishing. I'm not gonna cast again and explain anymore, but it's faster than wearing a grease board. Way faster, because you would have had to go after your grease board. Everything's right in front of you. Saving time is an issue. Plus, you know, catching fish is an issue too, and I'm gonna go back out there and try to catch more fish, really quick. That fish is two pounds, three ounces, okay? You got number three and you number five. So I'm just gonna grab number three. 